Today we are back in Oslo, Norway, talking with Per Holt at the Oslo Met about pairing and why you might be misunderstanding or misconceptualizing the function of pairing before a session. that uh, seem to indicate that uh, a passive pairing procedure is often not enough. And there are also some older data from Lobos and, uh, and colleagues mm -hmm. uh, showing that um, the pairing procedure often does not work yeah. at and all. That, that pairing would be, uh, you gave me an example of just using good. Can you describe that again? Yeah, what uh, Lovos and colleagues uh, did was to, uh, as I described, just uh, they paired the word good mm -hmm. with um, things that already worked as positive reinforcers for mm -hmm. the behavior of, uh, of the children with uh, autism. And even after hundreds of pairings of good with mm -hmm. um, um, positive reinforcers, when they tested good for reinforcing properties, as I yeah, said, it, uh, it didn't work. It wasn't there, at all. yeah. No effect uh, when they then said uh, good con contingent uh, upon different kinds of, uh, of behavior, there was no uh, mm -hmm. increase. increase in, in the frequency of those responses at all. So, so how did you, how do you control for that? Like, I know that it's not, it's not clear, but, or it's not, it's, uh, there's not a ton of data, right? Saying this is exactly it. That's true. But what I remember was six or seven of the eight participants were pretty clear in mm. what you guys were yeah. studying, right? Yeah. When we um, compared the pairing uh, yeah. procedure with uh, the uh, operant discrimination procedure. The, the difference um, in this case uh, would be that with the pairing procedure, you would just. Um, um, if you're trying to establish a nodding and smiling as a condition reinforcer, you mm -hmm. would nod and smile and give the child uh, the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Nod and smile and give the child the good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you see, the, the child uh, really doesn't need to respond to, to you nodding and smiling at all. You can just wait for the good stuff to appear. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't make a difference whether yeah it's not it's not in that contingency right right there's no contingency at all but what you can do instead is to uh, give the child an opportunity to do something to get those uh, good things mm -hmm. uh, a simple example would be just to put them on the table mm -hmm. put the reinforcers on the table and not let the child grab anything except when you nod and smile mm -hmm. and then you will see after just a few trials that the child is um, watching yep. very carefully and when you uh, nod and smile the child will immediately grab mm -hmm. the, the, the stuff from the table yeah and, and then when you took that and tested the nod and smile that's where you saw the increase yes and it's functioning yeah. as a condition reinforcer yeah. correct cool you can be pretty sure it will at the moment it starts Working as an SD for yeah. behavior, it will also uh, fairly, uh, mm -hmm. uh, certainly yeah. function as a conditioner reinforcer yeah. for other behavior. Yeah, fantastic. Um, there, there is a small variation of this procedure that okay. should be used instead of what I just described. Where you, what is it? Because if you put uh, the good stuff on the table mm -hmm. um, and stop the child from grabbing them when you have not nodded and smiled you you may easily get into some fights mm -hmm. and that's not very useful yeah so to avoid uh -huh. that you, you have a box with a curtain mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, the child can never uh, know whether their the good stuff is in there or not except by reaching uh, in reaching in okay. yeah and uh, you can let the child reach in whenever uh, it wants to mm -hmm. do so. Mm -hmm. uh, but there will only be some good stuff in there when you have nodded and smiled. Uh, so then you, you can establish your nodding and smiling as a SD mm -hmm. through that procedure without uh, 
having to get into those kinds of, yeah. of fights yeah. with a child and uh, uh, it's just very important then that there's no other way the child can see that you put the good stuff in there yeah then uh, through your nodding and smiling so yeah. you have to be careful not to yeah look. yeah to not have other things shape yeah, up because that would probably block the effect of, of your nodding and smiling as the yeah condition reinforcing yeah, yeah. I have linked all of his contact information down below, go check it out, and I will see you tomorrow. And the second part is actually the challenge, so that means when you accept the fairest challenge. Talking about these cool little guys, that's your daily BA. Oh, share, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff, don't forget. Alright, peace.